Hello and welcome to Retro Cars Reborn. As you can see, the Peugeot is now in the main garage. So we'll investigate the 205's floors. We're going to look at the sills, uh, the rear quarters from inside it as well. And we'll see what he's doing on them. So when you get all the interior out, and you get into the uh, driver's rear quarter, and you find all this expanding foam that's been shoved in here so that it has completely rotted this pillar out and this rear quarter you start to find out why because right there look is a sticker because it's had a rear quarter put on it and they decided to use expanding foam to uh, seal it and yeah as you do so I'm pulling some of this out right and you can see that there that is one lad motorbike that thing was ridiculous Right then, so you can see this here, this is where this hole is, where the seat, where the uh, expanding foam has been put behind it and it's come through. And I'm thinking, whoa, look at this metal, bro. There ain't no metal there. Oh, metal there, but there. There's all the expanding foam, see that? All that's expanding foam. So the inner post is just gone. And yeah, the inner post is just gone. That should be there, but that should be. It should be post. It should be. It should be attached. Look, there's just nothing. Did they fill it with seam sealer? That uh, seam sealer. Did they fill it with expanding foam because it was gone, or has it gone because they filled it with expanding foam? Right, it just rust after rust after rust after rust after rust. It's a good job I have one of these that's in okay condition to replace this because this is just it's just getting mental in here so I'm gonna uh, hoover it out now get rid of all of this I don't think that's gonna fit in the hoover somehow get into all these bits and get as much crap out of the corners and then we'll see what the floor's condition actually really is now it's been a couple of days since i started to clean the floor out and just from this angle here look don't wash my finger in the view there's rust but it's not too bad it's just some surface rust that needs getting rid of and that's the dirt, that's what it looked like before, that's the dirt there in that corner. And once the dirt's removed, look, it's so shiny. Until you get to the driver's bit, which looks like surface rust from here. Oh my god, it's not. It really isn't surface rust anymore. It is completely... As soon as you put some weight on it, it just went straight through. It uh, is not good. So this all needs replacing and cutting out. There's no point in trying to rub this. Rub this bit down. It's just hole up the hole up the hole up. Even where the fuel lines run. You can actually push the fuel lines down in the hole. So, yeah, the 
driver's side, not so good. Passenger side, look, it's fared, fared pretty well, it's solid. I've hit this with a hammer because it's raised up slightly. There's a dint from the underneath. Let's push that in, so we'll hit it with a hammer again, try and knock it back down. But yeah, it's, uh, I expected worse. I really did. So driver's side, holes. There's one hole there too. But the passenger side, apart from these little bits at the front surface rust again, the only hole is there. And I can't complain at that. I really can't complain. The rest of the floor, it's pretty solid. So uh, I'm gonna get a little mallet, whack that back. Gonna clean the rust up this side so we can see how bad it really is. Because there's no point in cleaning that side. I probably know how bad it is. And you've just seen. If you can go to some metal and be like, Oh, hello there, Mr. Floor. I see you. Yes, I see your slab through this hole. Very nice. You know, there's, um... Yeah, it's not salvageable. Yeah, so, uh... I've already been looking eBay and Breakers Yards for a 205 with this bit of the floor that's still okay, because I'd like to just be able to cut it out and replace it straight out without having to make a panel. But no luck so far. It would seem that they all rot here. So while most of it really is just a load of surface rust, then you can see some of it's getting a bit more sinister. Two holes there. One where that dint was, look. That hole should be there, but uh, it's not looking good round it. Yeah, so we're going to need to plate that and that bit there. The rest, so far, can just be rust treated and uh, it shouldn't come back. But yeah, I mean, surface rust that looks like that, it's pretty bad, but it's cleaning up perfectly like that. Like that bit and that bit there, they'll end up looking like that bit there. So, I mean, I can't complain, really. So I just started to mark up where I'm thinking about cutting the floor out. Because I've managed to go on Facebook, go into a 205 GTI Owners Club, page, ask about someone having a floor and within three days I've got a man who's gone I got a perfect three door diesel that we can cut the floor out of so there we go we've got a passenger side bit of the floor just in case I need it and we've got the driver's one which is is look how, just look how good it is perfect so I'm just figuring out where it's going to be the easiest to cut it joggle it and join it in because we'll, we can weld it from the top and then we can weld it from the underneath as well it'll have like a little bit of a double skin in places but uh, it will be absolutely perfect when it's done so yeah well happy with that and the price was absolutely amazing uh, 40 quid for the both so 20 20 pound aside so I could not say no as for the plan for these rear quarters from the outside they don't look too bad but they are completely rotted especially when you start looking in there and seeing how much of it is missing in the first place now this has already had a rear quarter on it and I imagine they put it in here, went across there and joined it somewhere across the back. Now all this piece appears perfectly fine all down here to about there 
it's perfectly fine. It's only here that the outer skin goes rotten and obviously the sill is rotten as well. So what I'm thinking is, is I've got the two rear quarters that I bought. It cost me £100 for each side. Uh, again, it came off a green, off a greeny coloured one. Not off the same guy. Which is kind of weird. Same colour car, but, you know, I can't moan. Um, so yeah, so what I'm thinking about doing is, is I'm thinking if I cut the rear quarters in this swage line the body kit covers that so it'll be a lot easier to hide the welding uh, then just taking off this entire bottom quarter including this bit round here getting the other ones off that other 205 rear quarter and putting them in but once these rear quarters are off my only issue is if we look at this side the B pillar is part of the sill. There, look, right there. It is spot welded across there up to where the seat belt mount is, and again at the front, just where the sill, uh, sill just where the seal is. That again, where I've put that black tape is another bit where the B pillar is attached to the sill. So when it comes to having the sills done, I'm going to have to brace it. Now there's not really anywhere to brace it. I'm thinking of bolting a post to there, then probably travelling across the bottom to sit it on that floor bit, and then going straight up and bolting it in there where the seat belt mats so it holds the car and if I do it on both sides and then run a beam from this side to this side I'm hoping that it will hold it in a decent position but I can do that after I've sorted these bits of floor out So, in the next video, hopefully I can cut these floors out, weld me some new metal in, even though it's old metal, but it's new metal to me, and it's new metal to this Peugeot. That'll be the floor done then. And it's just sills and rear quarters, and some little tiny little bits that need doing to it. And the shell on this will be absolutely solid. We'll be able to send it to paint. Oh, that'll be awesome. Then I can get back onto the Capri. Because I just keep falling out of love with that thing. And it's just one of the, you know, I've had it eight years, that's why I keep falling in out of love with it. When you get something new and fresh like the Peugeot, you just want to work on it, work on it, get it done. So, yeah, hopefully, we can put the floors in in the next episode. So I've been Lee, this has been Retro Cars Reborn, it's been one of the hottest weeks in my entire life, especially in this place, it is ridiculous in here. I hope everyone's keeping safe in this heat, and I shall see you in the next episode.